Okay, I am going to do a brief demonstration of the sequential running lights for this shuttle bay of the 1 350th scale um, Polar Lights Enterprise refit or Enterprise A, whichever version you want. Um, this is a cool upgrade. I've had quite a few people request it. It doesn't come standard with the normal kit. But again, it is a, um, an upgrade at a minimal cost. Um, and I, w what I'm going to show you here is an incompleted enterprise, obviously, but I do have the shuttle bay attached to the bottom of the secondary hull. Um, it's just a few of the lights from the enterprise are on. You see, these are actually going to be easier um, spotlights that will be up uh, up approximately this position, signing up on the pylon. We've got the uh, these two lights actually are for the deflector dish because it switches from yellow to blue. Um, and there's a strobe light underneath um, and a running light here at the back. Anyway, um, just to demonstrate how I actually set this all up um, when it's configured here with the base is that you'll have an on and off switch to turn off the running lights independently from the rest of the uh, lighting on the ship. So I'm going to flip them on here and we see the sequential lights in the shuttle bay. None of the other lights are turned on. Um, so now I'm going to turn on the other lights. I'm not sure which mode it's in to begin with. Let's see. Okay, we see it's uh, the blue light coming on so it's in the warp mode. Um, and you see those are the lights I told you about the strobe lights underneath, but and then you've got another switch for switching from uh, warp to impulse mode, and you see those spotlights come on. So again, the the uh, running lights are still on because those are independent of the other um, lights. If I want to turn them off now, I can turn them off, and the rest of the ship's going to be lit up. You can also turn off the rest of the ship, and just to have the running lights on. 